Welcome. Welcome, Jennifer Reyes, to Town Meeting TV. Um, you're here joining us um, to tell us a little bit about the All of Us program that is going to be coming to Burlington, Vermont. It's traveling around the United States. Um, tell us a little bit about who you are, Jennifer, and who you work with um, and what brings you here today. Hi, hello, my name is Jennifer Reyes. I am the Outreach and Engagement Manager working on behalf of the All of Us Research Program. Happy to share that the program will be visiting Burlington, Vermont um, later in June. And the All of Us Research Program, tell us, who, where does this originate from? Who's behind this and what's the purpose behind it? Yeah, so the All of Us Research Program is a large research program from the National Institutes of Health, also known as the NIH. The goal really is to help researchers understand more about why people get sick or stay healthy. We hope to create a, the largest and most diverse database of health data by inviting one million or more people from diverse backgrounds to join the program with the goal of accelerating health research. And to date, we have about 786,000 participants. So you have 786,000 that are currently participating, and then you want to increase that by another quarter, or do you want another million on top of that? A million people. Well, we say a million or more. Yeah. So the goal is one million, but you know, uh, definitely are reaching for, you know, um, more people to participate in the program. Yeah, give us a little, why is it important that we have a diverse set of people that we are um, looking at for health data? Yeah, so it's important to have diverse uh, database just because, again, many communities have historically been left out of health research meaning we don't know a lot about these communities. So um, that's why it's so important to participate in the program. And one of the things that, uh, you know, you can receive with the program if you participate is, you know, uh, your genetic ancestry and um, what we call pharmacogenetics. So how medicine reacts with your body. So what may work for one person may not work for another person. And we, we know that. Great. Um yeah, there are certain um, diseases that may be more chronic with certain populations. Um, is this is that part of what you might understand in doing this work? Yeah. So, for example, in the Latino community, you know, we do have uh, high cholesterol, diabetes. So, kind of looking at those characteristics and patterns, and kind of seeing, you know, uh, why that may be. Um, is it their lifestyle? Is it their environment? Um, there's many different reasons, you know, that um, some people may be more predisposed to get in, getting certain um, health conditions and diseases. So really looking to see the characteristics and studying why that may be. Uh, which brings me to what is it that you're tracking and studying? What does somebody do when they become a participant in the All of Us Research Program? Yeah, so you can participate in many different ways. Some of those ways can be through surveys. So um, if you do surveys, you know, the researchers can have a little bit more information about you as an individual, um, you know, your lifestyle, your health habits, um, et cetera. Um, and then on top of that, if you provide biosamples to the program, meaning blood, urine, or there is an option for um, saliva, uh, you do get information about yourself. Um, like I mentioned previously, your genetic ancestry dating back 400 to 500 years. Uh, researchers also study 59 different genes and provide you with her a hereditary risk report. So again, letting you know, you know, different things that you may be predisposed to. It may not mean that you'll get it or, you know, now or in the future, but it, it is a possibility. Tell us a little bit about when we participate in the program, who has access to that information? You know, if I sign up and I provide my um, genetic information, personally identifying information, stuff about my lifestyle, who's going to read that? Who's going to have access to that? Yeah, so only registered researchers have access to your bio samples and um, information given in terms of like surveys. However, all of that is de-identified, meaning your name, your zip code, where you live, all of that is stripped and you're just a unique code 
to those researchers. Um, and then in terms of uh, privacy, that is one of the biggest, um, you know, importance of the program. So we do have what is called a certificates of confidentiality provided to us by the US government, meaning we are not allowed to give uh, out information of participants to any third party. Um, Jennifer, uh, tell us a little bit if people wanted to participate in this program, are there um, any kinds of compensation that they receive? Yeah, so one of the biggest benefits that a participant who joins the program will receive is information about themselves. So, you know, their genetic ancestry, um, information about, you know, different health traits. So whether they might like or not like cilantro and if they're at risk of developing any particular health condition, um, some Participants may also be invited to uh, get a Fitbit, again, to track um, their health and... Um... Great. It's funny that you mentioned cilantro, because that is, right, when some people taste cilantro, it tastes like soap, and then some people taste cilantro, and it's like, mmm, delicious. And that is a genetic right. marker, right? Yeah, yeah. correct. Um, and then also you can learn, um, like if you're maybe lactose intolerant or maybe not lactose intolerant. Yeah, so interesting. So, um, you know, what brought you to this work personally? So you're working with this All of Us program, you're working for the NIH, you're trying to find participants to develop a larger database of people to study around health outcomes and um, diseases. What brought you to this to this work? Yeah, that's a great question. What brought me to this work is um, as a Latina woman um, from a predominantly low income community, um, you know, I know that um, Latinos, you know, aren't historically represented in um, health research. So a big reason of, you know, why I joined the program and why I um, am passionate about the work um, about the program is because I want to, you know, change that uh, for future generations. I want, you know, to make new health discoveries um, and kind of learn more uh, and contribute to health research. Great. And um, beyond the, you know, how does this relate, and this may be a little bit outside the realm and something that researchers might be doing, but how does this relate with our understandings of things like environmental racism or um, disparate how health um, disparate health um, distribution mechanisms how does this work relate besides studying the individual with those kind of bigger questions yeah so like we know there are different factors that affect someone's health uh, one of those you know, being, you know, where they live. So if they live near an, an um, you know, a factory or an industrial place, uh, they may be more likely to develop um, maybe certain types of cancers or um, illnesses or diseases that affect their health. Um, so that does play a big factor, um, you know, when we say, when we're talking about um, health and what someone is likely to develop. So this is the All of Us program. If people want to learn more about it, they could go to your website, right? Which is go.joinallofus.org. Yeah. And I think we may be showing that website now um, to folks. And you're also coming to Burlington. Tell us a little bit about what is happening. What is this mobile unit and what will people expect? Where will you be? Yeah, so from June 4th, through June 7th, we'll be at Fletcher Free Library in Burlington, Vermont. We will be hosting our All of Us Journey. And our All of Us Journey is our traveling education exhibit that brings the program to communities across the US. So we'll have fun games, activities, um, and uh, quizzes all designed to demonstrate the power of participation in health research. So definitely stop by if um, you're interested in learning more about the program and joining. Great. And your website, you, it looks like you can translate into Spanish easily. Burlington is a refugee resettlement community. And so we have, you know, our school districts, there's about 60 different languages that are spoken here. Um, what are the outreach methods or the translations um, that are available if someone comes and speaks another language? Is uh, deaf, hard of hearing? What are the accessibility yeah. measures that somebody could expect? 
Yeah, so in for to join, it's in English and Spanish. However, we do have um, a hotline number that they can call um, where they can uh, request the language um, and be walked through the consent process on site if they um, need help doing so. So people can come and speak any language and there, there's a hotline that you can call to have that translated while they're there? Correct. Great. And are there particular demographic um, groups that you're looking for and, you know, like you want more young people to sign up or, you know, are you looking for anybody to show up or are there particular people that you're hoping to sign up? Yeah, everyone is invited to uh, participate in the program, whether you're young, older, um, or, you know, from a racial minority, um, everyone is invited to, to participate. Great. Is there anything more that you think we ought to know before um, you come to Burlington to join us? Or if folks want to look at the website, is there any anything more that you want to let people know about this program? Um, the last thing I want to end with is just, um, again, um, many communities have been underrepresented in health research. And if you're not in the research, you're not in the solution. So if you want to learn more about um, your health and if you're interested about learning, um, you know, how um, different medicines may react with your body, what you may be predisposed to um, and contribute to health research, definitely join us um, at the program. Great. Well, thanks. Right. Yeah, great. Thanks so much. So that um, is Jennifer Reyes from All of Us um, program. It's a program of the National Institutes of Health um, conduct conducting um, a survey, um, in inviting people to be part of that health research. Thank you so much for joining us, Jennifer. Thank you. And thank you all for watching. Um, stay tuned for more programming from Town Meeting TV.